My name is Matt Finkowitz, and I'm a member of the Facility Engineering Team at the Virtual New York RTAC on VATSIM. This video will get you started connecting to the VATSIM network using the new CRC controlling client. To begin, download and install the CRC application using the link in the video description. Once you have CRC installed, head over to the Downloads page on the ZNY website and download the Quick Start profile for the airport of your choice. You may also create a profile from scratch, but we will not cover that in this video. Once you have downloaded the Quick Start profile, unzip it to a location of your choice. Now open CRC. You should be greeted with a blank profiles window. Before we import our profile, we need to install the New York RTAC. To do this, click Manage Installed RTACs and scroll down to the New York RTAC. Click Install and hit Yes to confirm. Depending on your internet connection, this will take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. Close the Manage Installed RTACs window and click Import Profile. Browse to the location where you downloaded the Quick Start profile and open it. You can rename the profile by using the Rename Profile button on the right side of the profile in the list. Double click the profile to open it. Once the profile is open, you'll be greeted with three windows. The main window will have a stars display, an ASDX, and a tower cab view. You will also have the messages window where you'll communicate with text pilots, and the controllers window, which will have a list of other controllers online and their handoff codes. You can resize these windows to your preference, and they'll be saved with your profile. Now that I have the windows laid out, I'll go to the menu at the top and click Save Profile. Before we connect, we'll need to enter some information. To do this, go to the menu at the top left of the window and click General Settings. This will bring up the General Settings window. Enter your CID password, and name. This window also contains general settings that are related to CRC, such as prompting to confirm when you disconnect, playing ATC chat sounds, or enabling Discord rich presence integration. Once you have your information entered, close the general settings window. Next, go back to the menu and select Profile Settings. This window gives you another place to rename your profile, as well as entering your controller information. Once you've entered your information, close the window. Now we're ready to connect to VATSIM. Click on the menu and select Connect, or Use the Control F12 shortcut. Under Position, select the position that you'll be working. I'll select Newark Local. Select your VATSIM rating under Rating. And under Role, choose either Observer or Controller. Observer allows you to observe a position without actually signing on and controlling. Do not use student or instructor unless otherwise directed. Under Environment, you can select Live, Sweatbox 1, or Sweatbox 2. Use the Live environment if you'll be controlling on VATSIM or the Sweatboxes for training. Do not use the test server unless otherwise directed. When you're ready, click Connect.
Once you're connected, go to the menu and select Activate Session or use the Control shift f 12 keyboard shortcut. Activating a session in CRC is the equivalent of priming in the older controller clients such as VSTARS and VRC. Now you're ready to control. When your controlling session is complete, go to the menu and select Disconnect or use the Control f 12 keyboard shortcut. If you have any questions, your first stop should be the CRC documentation linked in the video description. You can also ask questions in the ZNY Discord in the CRC Questions channel, or find a member of staff in TeamSpeak. We will be producing additional, more in-depth videos soon. Thanks for watching, and enjoy controlling with CRC.